hello everyone now here comes the next logical function which is call s all right let uh, let's understand what its definition is as per the microsoft website so the next one call s dax function it says it returns the first expression that does not evaluate to blank all right if all expressions evaluate to blank blank is returned now let me help you understand with a with an example okay so here i am in power bi now you see for each of the customer transactions total transaction which they have done in jan feb and march is given over here now if i want to find out what is the first month when they did the transaction right how can i do that so for that let me just quickly do addition of a column okay over here and let me just write so for example for this customer the first month of the transaction was january but as opposed to this if you see for this customer the first month was march right so what's gonna happen how can you produce this for that what you need to do is just use call s and give the name of all these three columns which is jan comma feb comma march and let power bi do it work right and now what are you gonna get over here is this value all right so for this customer this is the first month for this customer you see february was the first month for this customer the january month was the first month for this customer january again was the first month all right so you see you don't have to put your mind so that's what call as function says it it resolves to the first uh non-missing non-blank expression so three expressions we gave and whatever was the first non-missing that has been produced into it so for example over here this was the non-missing that has been produced if you see into this this was the non-missing it has been produced over here but if you see this one into this the, again for 4900 was non-missing first non-missing value that has been produced over here in this 2637 was only the non-missing value that has been produced over here so this is how call as function can be used now if you want to understand more use case of it what could be the other use case here why would i like to know the purchase made in first month right so for example let's say three months of the transaction you have and now you are going to do the total billing but into that you want to give a discount of 500 rupee in the first month transaction so first of all you would require to do you, you would require to find the transaction made into the first month for each of the customer and then discount it by 500 so now what are you going to do is what are you going to get over here you see this is what you get so this has been already uh, 500 rupee has already been discounted in first in in their first month of transaction all right so i hope it was easy for you to understand okay now the next example i would also give you another example let's say here in this table here now i'm going to find the sales by product okay so before that let me show you that table exactly first so here i have a table which is called sales by product now in that in this table what you see how many products that we have how many product categories that we have one two three four these two are just one four five and six right six product categories that we have now if i go over here and if i try to find the total sales by each of the product line what is it that i'm going to get so what we are seeing over here is only four product types. What we are seeing over here are just four products while originally in our table we have six product categories. So why these two products are not coming fashion accessories and food and beverages these two products are not coming over here. The reason is these two these two products don't have any value. So instead whatever table we are or whatever summary or matrix we are creating in that i want to see all of the products and if they don't have any sale against that i want to see zero right that's what my statement is so that at least i could see that how many products for which we have um, we have the stock or something like that okay so for how do we solve this because when whenever we take a sum by each of the product card this is how it is going to happen so how do we solve this for that i'm going to create one new column which is called let's say new column over here 
and into that I would say sales by product. I'll create a new column. It's called sales by product. Let it come. Here I'm going to say sales by product. Okay. And here I'm going to say call us and let's just say sales sales column. Okay. And let's just hit enter. Oops, I just made one mistake. Let me correct that. Okay, so here what I'm saying, uh, create this column into that put the value from sales column and wherever it is missing i want it to produce zero over there now let's just do this let's see what what's gonna happen now this column is created over here and if i take this okay if i take this and put it into the values over here now you see what happens so when i use this column here i'm going to get all of these product categories and those product for which we i for which i didn't have any sale for that i'm going to get zero all right so this is how call is function turns out to be very very helpful in our reporting system okay i hope it was easy for you to understand and it was interesting as well at the same time just in case if you get in doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out with that until then happy learning wish you